Welcome back to the GSD Podcast, everybody. I'm your host, The Wizard of Iz. Thank you for tuning in. Here on the show, we help business owners and contractors who feel stuck, confused, and uncertain of what to do in their business. And through this podcast and my experience, I plan to give you clarity, value, and purpose so you can have a thriving business. So today is episode eight, actually, and we are on part two of our social media topic that we've been talking about. This episode should be short and sweet, but I can ramble forever, so forgive me if this goes on longer than 10 minutes. Recap last week, we talked about what social media platforms you should use as a business, and my recommendation is if you don't have a team doing this or you don't have the money to outsource it, I say go with two, start with two, which is where your target audience is, your demographic, <clears throat> and your third one should be one that's indexed currently by Google, and Google currently indexes YouTube, YouTube Shorts, and now TikTok is going to be coming into play. So utilize one of those as well as two where your target market is. So this episode is called Make Your Social Media Look Cohesive. I can't tell you how many times in the past 10 years when I was helping customers with social media, if they already had social media created, how different everything is. I'm just going to give you an example. I work with one client who on Facebook, they had just a regular generic banner of a bunch of their students, and then their profile picture was the same thing. And then when you went to Twitter, this is right before Twitter was doing cover, their profile was something completely else. Then they had a Pinterest page at that time, which made sense why they had the Pinterest, but they weren't really using it. But then the Pinterest had an old logo of who they were, which that didn't make sense. And then if you went to the website, it had the new logo, and everything was just all over the place. And the first thing I said to them is I said, guys, your social media does not look cohesive. I said, you have to really look. You have to really focus and see if this is all the same business. And that's very important. You want somebody to say, oh, you know, that is the GSD podcast. They want to know that when they see your logo, that's your brand, that's you. You want to take the guesswork out of this for your clients, for your customers. You don't want them to wonder like, ooh, is this the actual business? Uh, are you sure this is them? Because it doesn't look like it. And that's true. You want to make it cohesive. So let's talk about a few things of what you should do. This is something, a rule of thumb that I always went by when I used to do social media for people. And I think it's very important for your profile picture to be your logo. That's your brand. Every profile you use, it should be your logo. So when someone's looking for you, there's no second guessing if that's you. For my business, I have my logo for all my profiles. When you see that logo, you know it's my business. For this podcast, I'm using the same logo for everything. When you see it, you know it's my podcast. So make sure that if you're going profile picture, which I would... That's your logo. Profile picture is your logo. That's what I would do across the board. And when you're making handles, handles are your unique at names, like at the GSD podcast. You want to try to make those cohesive as well, as much as you can. It's not always going to work. Hey, someone else has the GSD podcast out there too. Other people are getting shit done as well. But I've been trying to use the GSD podcast where I can and where I can, it's GSD podcast official. So I'm trying to just go between those two because sometimes you might not be able to use the same URL or handle as you think, especially if something might be more common. So try to come up with a backup that is still cohesive of what you are doing. Next thing, think of cover or your cover art on your profile. The cover art, depending on what your business is, that could be a picture of your business. Let's say you have a storefront. Make that a picture of your storefront. Let's say you offer services. Maybe change that out monthly on a new service or a new deal. I worked with a performing arts studio for a while, and what we did is we would change the cover art on what was coming up next. Was there something happening at the studio? That was the cover art. Was there an event coming up that they were performing at? That was the cover art. So your cover photo, I would change based on something of your business or things coming up or events because it's like a perfect banner just right there like, hey, here we are. Here's what we're doing. Cover art. Something coming up, something you offer, an event going on. Profile picture, I would try to keep that your logo because that will keep your brands cohesive. URLs or the at handles, try to make that the same name or one secondary if you have to do it. This altogether 
will stop the questions if, hey, I just found the GSD podcast on Instagram. Is this the right GSD podcast? They'll take out that guesswork because if it's not my logo, it ain't my profile. So don't go to it. You want to go to my profile. Put all that stuff together to be cohesive. And same thing with URLs. It just makes it easy. Now, if you're going to update something, if you update your logo, don't forget to update that every place else. If you're going to change your cover art, change your cover art on all the other places so it's cohesive. Everything is advertising the same. Everything is promoting the same. Everything looks the same. And it doesn't confuse people. Take out the confusion. Market your brand. Get it so people know who you are. It's really that simple. So right when you get off listening to this podcast, look at all your social media and make sure they're all cohesive in what they're doing. This will help your brand. This will help your message and will help people find you. So thanks for tuning in. We got one more. We got part three coming up next week on social media. We're going to talk about how to repurpose your content or how to make one big piece of content and how to break it down to save you time with social media. So tune in next week. As always, visit the website, thewizardofis.com. There's other additional information and blogs on there. You can also donate to the show. We have a Venmo and Cash app. Also, we have a private community on a Patreon where we can get involved more. There's bonus episodes and I can actually talk with you one-on-one through comments in that community. You can sign up through there. As again, I appreciate all of you for listening to the show. Thank you for tuning in. Come back next week and I have more for you. Until then, have a great weekend. Thanks, everybody. (laughs) 